Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to be reviewing some Zigbee switches. ZimmySmart sent me a couple of uh, switches to review. First off, we have these DIY, this curtain switch. Looks like this. And I have a straight up breaker switch that's very similar to this. Same form factor. Let's get, let's take a look at that. Wired up version of the other switch right here. And now let's take a look at how we wired that. Great, now that we have that wired, let's take a look at these switches. So first off, we have the switch, the DIY breaker module, and then we have the curtain module. Both of these, I am going to hook up to my Hubitat and get them all working. So first, we'll, we're gonna mostly work with the DIY breaker here. Uh, the, they both work exactly the same, so this is some fun stuff. And get this, look at that. They're not expensive. So if you have a DIY project that you're looking to, to add some Zigbee uh, smarts to it, this might be a good thing. You could fit this in uh, your own custom uh, um, switch or, 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 or project. So uh, this would be a perfect item to fit in a DIY project. Now they show you different ways to this and see, it's not a big item, it fits great. So let's just take a look at it in Hubitat. So here it is in my Hubitat. I've connected this already and and so you might be wondering well that that's not that doesn't match the 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 type. Well that's true. So how do you figure out what type to use in Hubitat? Well when you go and you add devices there is a list of compatible devices. Here is the list. What I do is I go all the way to the top of this list and I just search for what I'm looking for. We just put in Zimmy and boom. Here we go. Look. Two gang switch, Zigbee switch, and then it shows up. This is the driver you're going to use, the new Zigbee switch. So you go back to the top, see driver. There's lots of items in here. So that's how I find everything. So going back to where we were at. It selects it. Now, when you're looking at your devices, if we go back down here devices, you notice that this shows up as two items. That's because this is actually has two switches in it so you can switch two outlets so for example if you wanted to hook up an outlet and and you want to plug one, plug one and plug two and then switch them separately you could do that with this item it's pretty nifty all right so you look in here and so you see it's off you know you can click the on button you may have heard that click now so let me just show you that in our device. So you can see here that I have my outlet tester and the green light is on. And then you'll see right here that the red light is on. So when I click that manually, it turns off the switch. I don't have the second one hooked up, uh, but you would wire that in uh, separately on the back. So if you look at this, you will see that you can hook up both switches. Comes with paperwork to be able to switch it. You can check it out online also. Um, so watch this light. I'm gonna click it in the app and boom. Now I did both of them in this particular case because when you have it set up, let me flip that back over my. So when you go through devices and you see this outlet here, if you click on this top one, you're going to be able to turn on 
and off. And when you do that, it turns on and off both of them. So let me flip back around to the overhead and I'll flip it. See, they're both red and now they're both green. And you can see how that works. Now I'm flipping both of those switches at the same time. Going back into the app, you can click on the individual ones and click them on and off. All right. So you see that? Now let me show you that on the actual device when I'm doing that. Right there. See how it turns on and turns off. And I'm only doing one of them. So remember, if you switched, if you wired this up to where I could have this outlet and this outlet wired separately, I could turn them off and on individually. So if you're looking for a project and you want to integrate one of these in into a box, this is a great item to check out. And obviously it hooks up to your Hubitat and other smart devices. So if you're you're not a Hubitat user, you're still able to use this thing. So just check out your vendor. I tried it with Hubitat. I'm pretty sure that it will work with smart things. Uh, Wink maybe, but you know, who knows if Wink's even going to be on service <laughs> the next time you try to use it. So if you're using Wink, my suggestion is stop buy a Hubitat. And then you can buy some of these and, and for your next DIY project. Like I said, so let's go, let's go back here and take a look at the website. So the curtain module is only 20 bucks right now. They're a huge discount. And here's another one for eight. The, the one I'm showing you in the picture is 18 bucks. Now, I also will tell you that below in the description of this video, you will find discount codes for Amazon ordering it and directly from them. And if you got, if you want to order it from Alibaba, AliExpress, I have discount codes for that too. So check that out. And uh, yeah, so that is all I have to say about these. And that is the Zemistart switches. They are great for your DIY project. They hook up to the Habitat, Hubitat, whoa. Hook up to the Hubitat so you can do it in your projects. Thanks for joining me. I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com, where we provide you technical IT support and DIY projects, DIY IT. We love this stuff. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe and like, like my channel. If you got something out of this and you want to want to give me a, a little bit of uh, extra boost, I have Buy Me The Coffee, so you can go ahead and do that, or just simply like and subscribe. We're here for you. Thanks.